Okay, so in the previous clip, we did a quick review. And we kind of reminded ourselves of what this data looks like in memory and why each um, element is four bytes apart. So I'll let you go back and review that if you need to. So now we're going to do these conversions. I'd like to be able to take something like j equals a sub 3 C code or j equals a sub k and convert those values to MIPS. This one um, is probably the easier or maybe possibly the easiest one to do since um, it doesn't require as much code. What we know is that the array element that is at a sub 3 is going to be 12 bytes away from the beginning. Since we know the index is 3, we can just always multiply the index by 4 to figure out how, how far away that element is from the beginning of the array. So if I want to access a sub 3, um, what I'll do then is just multiply the index by 4 and throughout this I'm assuming that the address of the array has been loaded into a sub 0 register. So the address of the array is here and then if I go 12 bytes over that will give me the address of a sub 3. And then what I'll do is, knowing that I have the address, I can use a load word, which will access the value of that address. And I'm going to store it inside of J, and J is S2. OK, so that gives us a sub 3. Uh, multiplying the index by 4 and then adding it to the address of the array and then extracting, using that address and extracting it. So we dereferenced. And it's, so you can really think about what's here as being a pointer and load word being um, what we learned in C to be a dereferencing. Um, so that works for a sub 3. And for a sub k, it's going to take a little bit more work. We still need to multiply the index by 4. The easiest way to multiply the index by 4 is to do something like this. We're going to do a shift left logical and need to hold on to the result. So I'll do a, I'll store it into a temporary t0. Shift left logical. What I'm shifting is what I want to multiply by 4, which is a k. And we said for k, we were going to use s3. So now what we have is 4k inside of t sub 0. And I'm going to add that value to the beginning of the array. And then stored. Um, here inside of t0. So now at this point t0 has the address of the beginning of the array and the offset of a sub k. So t sub 0 has the final value of a, a sub k. t0 holds the address of a sub k. And so now I can dereference it by using a load word. And I know that I need to store it in J, and we've said that J is S2. And I don't have to add anything to that address. I'll just use the address directly with no additional offset. So I'll just use a 0 there. But this T sub 0 is the complete address. So now that we've um, okay, so now we, we've completed that. This, on one end, a sub k takes those three lines, 
load word um, could just be used as the one line of code for a sub 3 for the first one that we just looked at here. So the pattern that's going to help us extract things out of memory is this SAL. So in the next bit of code we're going to look at how we can use those patterns or that one pattern in particular to not just extract a sub k but maybe to extract a sub k plus 2. So we'll see that in the next segment.